Hello, today is November 16th and we're reading 2 Corinthians 4 verses 13 through 18 and we're doing the contemporary English version. In the scriptures it says, I spoke because I had faith. We have this same kind of faith, so we speak, because we know that God raised the Lord Jesus to life. And just as God raises, raised Jesus, he will also raise us to life. Then he will bring us into his presence together with you. All of this has been done for you. So more and more people will know how kind God is and will praise and honor him. We will never give up. Our bodies are gradually dying, but we ourselves are being made stronger each day. These little troubles are getting us ready for an eternal glory that will make all our troubles seem like nothing. Things that are seen don't last forever, but things that are not seen are eternal. This is why we keep our minds on the things that cannot be seen. Lord Jesus, we ask that you just be with us today, that you continue to strengthen our hearts as we follow you. We know that time is short, Lord God. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you just be with us and the other nations in the world that are fighting against ISIS, Lord God, that you grant us wisdom and strength and discernment, Lord. We are aware, Lord God, that your word speaks of the end times and of these days. Help us to be vigilant Help us to be vocal, Lord God, that we would reach out, Lord, to our family, our friends and loved ones and even strangers across the globe, Lord Jesus, and give them the opportunity to accept you as their Savior. In your precious name I ask this, Lord Jesus, give us opportunities to reach the lost. Amen. One of the most important things here to, to me is the beginning and the end of this where it says that I spoke because I had I had faith and then it says that um, we have that kind of faith so we speak and then down here how it says that um, our troubles are eternal our troubles are for not aren't for nothing they um, when we're on the other side of eternity our troubles aren't gonna even seem like anything a lot of us, a lot of people will say, when I get to heaven, I'm going to ask God this. But when it's all said and done, it's not going to matter. We're going to have a clearer understanding just when we cross through that doorway. Um, so the speaking and the things seen don't last forever. It is very easy in this world that we all get caught up in the temporal. And um, especially when you look at people and you're trying to express to them the the value of Christ and the reason it, it is so important that we speak is because we're talking about eternity and I think we lose grasp of that I know that there has been a time in my life where I was content with the fact that I was saved and I lost sight of the fact that my family and co-workers were not living for God and aren't and when they cross through that doorway they're facing eternal separation from God and that should really be a wake-up call for all of us we have many avenues to speak and many different ways to do it we're human and a lot of Christians handle the speaking inappropriately but that doesn't mean we need to be silent. We just need to let Holy Spirit help us speak in love. And when it comes to speaking in love, it's not about not pointing out the danger. And I think that's where the confusion comes in because we want people to know that Jesus loves them. So that should be our primary focus. Um, when we're talking with fellow believers, we can address sin in love. When we're talking to non-believers, it's very important that the stress be placed on how much they are loved by us and by Christ and give them the opportunity to accept him into their life. And then once that happens, Christ will start dealing with, with, dealing with them about their sin and then we can start helping them overcome. Tomorrow is the 17th. We're going to do 2 Corinthians 9, verses 6 through 11.